Hey, welcome back to Living MN Outdoors. I'm Daniel, and thanks for tuning in to another fishing report. Before we dive into this week's fishing report, if you guys could, anytime you use any of the resorts or guides mentioned in today's fishing report, please let them know that you saw them on Living MN Outdoors. And if you guys would like your pictures featured in future fishing reports, Either send them over to our email or message them to us on our Facebook page. But with that being said, let's dive into this week's fishing report. All right, this week we're going to start up at Leech Lake. I talked to the guys from Horseshoe Bay Lodge. They currently have 10 to 11 inches of ice out there. Uh, they are going to be open to side-by-sides, ATVs, pulling portables. And then for their season pass holders and people who are willing to buy a season pass this weekend, they will be dollying out single axle wheelhouses. So once again, if you're a season pass holder or you go up there this weekend and buy a season pass, they will dolly out your single axle wheelhouse for you. Now, as far as the fishing goes out on Leech Lake right now, uh, the walleye bite was a little bit tougher this past weekend. Uh, some guys did really well, some people struggled. Um, I would say that we had mediocre walleye fishing, um, but the best depths to find those walleyes right now are in 16 to 24 feet of water. It seems like the top edge of humps and reefs are a little bit better than the bottom side. Uh, but once again, guys, it's mainly a night bite out there. Make sure you're using a big glow spoon, tip that with a minnow head, and then we had our best luck on a plain red hook with a big rainbow minnow. Now, as far as the perch bite goes, there's a really good perch bite out on Leech Lake right now. Uh, five to eight feet of water on shallow weed flats or out on the deeper mud basins mixed in with the tulabies in 26 foot plus. Uh, you can find some really big perch out there as well. Now, as far as the tulabi and whitefish bite goes, uh, they are absolutely hammering them out of Horseshoe Bay Lodge. Uh, 26 feet plus is the best on the mud basins, but guys up in 17, 18 feet of water are picking off some nice tulabi and whitefish as well. Now, as far as the pike bite goes, uh, they're picking up pike kind of everywhere that they're fishing walleyes uh, and perch. So anywhere from 5 to 22 feet of water, they're catching pike. Um, if you want to do some spearing, check in with the guys at Horseshoe Bay Lodge and they can point you in the right direction. Now, if you're looking for a place to stay up on Leech Lake, uh, unfortunately, Horseshoe Bay Lodge, they are full this weekend, but next weekend, he said they have a ton of availability. Uh, and if you guys want to book a room with Horseshoe Bay Lodge, mention Livin' MN Outdoors and you will receive a discounted rate. So if you guys are looking to get up to Leech Lake this coming weekend or in the future, go ahead and call Cam or Courtney from Horseshoe Bay Lodge. Now, if you guys are looking to book a fish house up on Leech Lake, Tanner from Only Outdoors, he will be renting out sleeper houses, beautiful ice castles. Uh, so if you're looking to book one of those, go ahead, contact Tanner from Only Outdoors. All right, now moving over to Lake Winnie. I talked to Chad from the Pines Resort today. He told me they have anywhere from 9 to 11 and a half inches of ice out there right now. And this weekend, they will be allowing ATVs and side-by-sides. Now, as far as the fishing out there, the best walleye bite this past weekend was in 17 to 21 feet of water off the edges of humps. Now, during the day, they were picking off some on those shallower sand and weed flats in that 14 to 18 feet of water as well. But for the evening bite, that 17 to 21 feet seem to be the best. Now, as far as perch go, uh, there has been a transition with the perch. They're starting to move out a little bit deeper. Uh, you can still find some up in that shallow 8 to 10 feet of water. But those perch are starting to move out into that 14 to 18 feet of water. Now, as far as catching those perch and walleye, uh, right now a dead stick with a smaller minnow, uh, a fathead, or a small rainbow seems to be working best. And then jigging small spoons or tungsten jigs with a minnow head is working as well. 
Now, as far as the panfish bite out there on Winnie, uh, you got to find them up shallow. They're in six to 10 feet of water up in the weeds. Uh, small tungsten jig with wax worms or larva or even a plastic is working fairly well right now. And some of those panfish are absolutely massive. Now, as far as the pike bite goes, uh, the pike are kind of everywhere. They're catching them out in 21 feet of water. They're catching them up in six feet of water. Uh, if you want to target a little bit bigger pike, uh, put down a little bit bigger sucker minnow and they're having some success with that as well. Now, he told me that the spearing was starting to really pick up and they do have some spear houses available. So if you guys want to get in on some spearing of Northern Pike, definitely give Chad a call and book one of those spear houses. Now, the Pines Resort, they have a full bar and restaurant. They have day houses, sleeper houses, cabins. Uh, they are full this weekend, but the next weekend and some weekends in February, they still have availability. So go ahead and give Chad a call from the Pines Resort. All right, now if you're looking to book a ice castle out on Lake Winnie, uh, we highly recommend Scott from Zup's Guide Service. Finally, with this cold weather, he's getting his houses out. He's getting them on top of fish. Uh, he does not have a ton of availability, uh, possibly some midweek stuff. Uh, so if you want to get in one of his houses, go ahead and call Scott from Zup's Guide Service. All right, now moving over to Mille Lacs Lake, I talked to Jeff from Castles Resort today. He told me that in zone one, which is the majority of the bay, they have 12 plus inches of ice. Now out on zone two, which extends out beyond the mouth of the bay, uh, he said they have 10 inches plus out there. Uh, this weekend, they are going to be allowing ATV and side-by-side -side traffic. Um, they will also be allowing half tons pulling single axle wheelhouses into zone one but you must be a season pass holder to take your wheelhouse and truck out. Now, they're doing this for safety reasons. They don't want a thousand trucks and ice castles out in the bay, uh, so they figured the best way to limit that was to season pass holders. Now, if you wanna buy a season pass, they do have season passes available. You can buy it this weekend and still pull out your truck and wheelhouse. Uh, so if you wanna do that this coming weekend, go ahead and give Jeff or Kimberly a call from Castles Resort. Now, as far as the fishing goes out of Castles Resort, the walleye bite is still pretty decent, uh, especially if you fish through the night. Uh, the night bite is really strong right now, 18 to 24 feet of water. Uh, just get on a break line there and you're more than likely going to catch some nice walleyes. Now, as far as how to catch those walleyes, small sucker minnows, small sucker minnows, small sucker minnows. I can't stress that enough. Put that on a plain red hook, let it soak, and you're going to catch some Mille Lacs Lake walleyes. Now, if you want to jig for them, I would recommend putting on a buckshot spoon, something that's loud, draw them fish in, and then more than likely they're going to eat your dead stick. Now, as far as the perch fishing out there on Mille Lacs, there's perch absolutely everywhere, eight feet to 22 feet. Uh, there's a ton of little ones, but there is some really big ones mixed in. Best way to catch those is to soak a big fat head under a bobber. Otherwise, you can get them on smaller jigging spoons and tungsten jigs tipped with larva or a minnow head. Now, as far as the pike go, uh, they're still catching some really big fat pike out there in Isle Bay. Uh, 8 to 14 feet of water is the best. Big sucker minnows are working well. Uh, so if you want to go chase some big pike, Isle Bay is the place to be. Now, if you guys are looking to book a fish house, whether it be a sleeper house out on the ice, or a day house, cabins, uh, whatever it might be, camp on shore in your wheelhouse, they offer all of that there at Castles Resort. You can refill your propane tanks as well. So if you guys are looking to get up to Mille Lacs Lake this coming weekend or in the future, go ahead and call Jeff or Kimberly from Castles Resort. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for this week's fishing report. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, the support has been overwhelming this season. If you guys could hit that like button, share the videos out with your friends, uh, follow us on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of the up-to-date fishing reports. 
Uh, if you guys make it out fishing, remember, do not leave your trash on the lake. If you see somebody else's trash, please pick it up. Don't crowd your neighbor, be respectful of other fishermen, and most importantly, don't forget to get on out there and get living.